there'll be a lot of hard stuff in this next 20 minutes. I'm sure of that. Away goes Turner. He's got, he's got in support of him. He's got Holiday chasing. 15 yards to go. Two yards to catch him. He's over. holiday and it's uh, an easy goal chance to Neil Fox 16 points to 5 for Wakefield Fox goal and it's 18 points to 5 There's certainly been a lot of good tries and good football in the second half. And uh, well, they haven't scored. They've contributed a lot to this game by moving the ball about, not sticking, not playing defensive, negative football. They've kept moving it around. And I'm sure they still will, even though they're 13 points to uh, behind. And tries, as you see, tries coming like that, well, so they can go the other way too. Just, you remember, just short a minute ago, still making that break down the middle of the ball. Keane, Keane, try and get his pass into Smith. from the scrum gives them a, still gives them a, a great chance for opening up and with three points for a try two points for a goal it's uh, not all that far away at the moment well they're playing ring a ring a rose or something but they'll eventually ride the right way around I'm sure at least I hope they do there's another scrum If you notice how the hooker, Harris, there, goes to, across to the spot where he wants the scrum to go down. But he's going down without his head. Ah, oh, a dummy by Turner. Splitting open the defence so he doesn't get his pass in. And in doing so, a uh, whole player is flat out just on our right. He's getting up. There he's down. But it's still Wakefield moving with the ball. And it's Halafihi, the Tongan, who's out, but he's up. Oaks. Halafi is on his feet again. He's trotting back to his position. Vines, another Welshman from Newbridge, Chamberlain. And Wakefield are just gradually getting that confidence now for the uh, real all-out attack, for the kill. Wilkinson, Turner, jumping and... Turn it away to pass to Alan Keane for his second try, right behind the post. There goes Keane in all his glory, two tries. What a magnificent afternoon for this ex-Springbok rugby union player, 50 times cap for Western Province. A very, very charming boy who's done, had a great career in his 18 months of rugby league football. Need a conversion kick for Neil. And he 
kicks it 23 points to 5 for Wakefield Trinity. Well, there's 16 minutes left for play, and although Wakefield uh, look very much as if they've got one hand on the cup at the moment, uh, I must say about how they're making this game awfully attractive by keeping the ball moving around. And, uh, even though they lost last year by 30 points to 1-13, uh, I reckon they play better football today. Turner. Turner has a tackle by the well, I don't know which is on the ground, but uh, it's going to, uh, I think, where's Johnny Whiteley? No, Johnny's on my left. If Big Scott will get out of the way, we could see. There we are. Um, it's Tommy Harris again. Well, poor uh, Tom Harris, you remember he had a bash on his head in the first half, and he's played a magnificent game, and the crowd rightly applaud him as the two reserves, Cole on the right and Watts on the left, take him off. Well, Tommy Harris was talking about retiring soon, but so how go again with 12 men? And the hooker is, I think, Sutton. Tom Sutton is taking Harris's place. And I think it's Harris's shoulder. Whiteley, Broadhurst. Ryan Wilkins is out of the way and if he can't run it he'll crawl it Scott the long one to Sutton oh and uh, Harrison there's no chance of going Whiteley oh and uh, Packers seem to have settled down a little bit. They're not uh, aggravated with each other now as they were. As Turner goes looking for support, he gets it from Neil Fox. And Neil pushes himself out. A couple of men gets his pass into uh, uh, John Eddy. going in and oh he's well tackled indeed well that shows a brilliant defensive work by Hull the tackle Fred Smith is something great Hull have given this game up at all. They're uh, tackling well, they're covering well, they're still throwing the ball about. And Tommy Harris goes off on the touchline side just below us. And uh, Tommy Harris looks as if he's finished in this match as he walks slowly round with the trainer, uh, probably the end of his Wembley career. Well, well played Tommy Harris. Penalty for Neil Fox that we uh, didn't miss while Tommy was walking off. We felt you would like to see him. And Fox takes this penalty shot. And it's... Uh, no, it's no goal. Well, it was jolly near. 23 points to Wakefield. 5 to Hull and 12 minutes left for play. And Hull with uh, 12 men see this game through to the end in the sporting manner that they've shown right throughout. Scott, we 
Mike Scott. Now Wakefield are not giving it up either. They're not coasting to any victory. And Hull are not giving in that easy. Second try for Hull. Oh, and they've lost the ball to Round. And Round, oh, interception. And Halapi here. Better, the whistle has gone, so Halapi had better come back. Well, the whole crowd were hoping, and I'm sure some of the neutrals were hoping, for at least a consolation try in the second half for Hull. Of course, they're only packing uh, four forwards at the moment. If we can finish, see that scrum. Wakefield's ball with extra man, Smith. I anticipated that pass. Fred Smith wants one try to equal his record of a season for Wakefield. He hasn't got it, but he's certainly trying to get it this afternoon. And it's uh, a knock on and scrum down. Well, Hull are packing four forwards because Johnny Whiteley's come out of the pack. Pack three then, in fact. Whiteley, the captain. Whiteley breaking away, looking inside. But he's lost the ball and Round is there to take the cover. And Round is running, running nicely. He's got New Fox inside him. What can Neil Fox do? Neil Fox is right over for a try. Nobody will catch him, but it will be too late if they do. Round behind the post. What a grand try to Neil Fox. Simple as that. Just that simple. Well, there's that very, very good footballer, Neil Fox. Nine minutes left to play as Neil Fox. 14 stone, seven. Yorkshire Minor from... Charleston, two brothers, his mother and father are in the crowd today. There's two brothers watching him, I'm sure they feel very, very proud about this. Very, very quiet boy, but what a good footballer he is. That's just how far back he was when he got the ball. The help players are coming to take the position still. 26-5 as Neil Fox tries to convert his own yeah, his own try. Peter kick, left leg, and the flags are up. Well, of course, there's no doubt where the cup is going to this year. It's going to wait for Trinity, uh, but uh, both teams have shown that they can play open football and are still doing so. That is the great thing about it. Now they try to close it up to uh, make it a dull, negative sort of football match. And with uh, minutes left for play, Wakefield 28 points, uh, Hull 5 points. Seven minutes, in fact, left for play. We make it. Cinderella story ending for Smith, the boy who came in to play his first match, but uh, he will certainly not forget this match, I'm quite sure. Neither will Tommy Harris, who is not now with us on the field. Whiteley, Evans, push him out of the way. Scott to Whiteley, and Johnny drops the ball. That is a scrum down. Five tries, uh, five goals rather, six tries, 28 points for Wakefield, one try, one goal for Hull. Wakefield have won the cup a few times, but this is only the second time they've won it to Wembley. Keith Holiday, the little scrum half, Turner jumps over them, long one interception. Johnson, can he get a consolation try? It's fast enough to do it. Oh dear, he's stopping. Still 
stride, Hull. Sam Evans, 25 yard line. And Hull still having a go. Evans kicks his leg in there to get up. Interception. Turner, Smith. Their best pass. Well, Smith is going to have a hold on to equal his club record by getting a try. He's not yet scored a try, has he? No, I think he has. And Johnny Whiteley. Johnny Whiteley, the whole captain, has great big heart of a footballer and trying very, very hard to get that try in the second half. And it's a penalty for her. There's no point in kicking a goal, just a quick tap penalty, and off they go. Sutton, Scott, Finn. Sutton, second row forward. Sam Evans, tight. Sam Evans sidestepping now, and then up he gets, and down he goes again, but he got a yard with it. <laughs> Finn, scrum half. Harrison. Well, Harrison, another penalty to Hull for grabbing the ball out of his hands. crowd are not very pleased with the way the ball was kicked towards the touchline. Uh, there's no point in taking a shot at goal. So they'll either kick it up in the air or tap penalty or what? Up in the air. That's right, what they call an up and under. But it's gone up, but it's gone down to Wakefield. Wilkinson to Oaks. Turn a long one. Skeen looking for Smith to give him a chance for a try and Smith tackled himself. Chamberlain to his second row partner first. Bit of a joint effort. These two boys are married to two sisters, so they were just keeping the bastard in the family as it were. Wilkinson, pushing them around. Smith. Smith! And there goes Fred Smith for the try. He's been so much wanting to equal his club record out behind the post for his first try of the afternoon. Fred Smith. Three minutes left to play as Smith's try makes Wakefield pass the 30 point mark. 31 in fact. Well, that was very good of Keane. Actually, he'd gone outside to give Smith the chance of coming inside. So Smith, with 37 tries for the season, equals his own club record. And he's still one match to play next Saturday in the championship final between Wakefield and Wigan. But Neil Fox is still to take this shot at goal. And it's a goal for Neil Fox. 33 points, Wakefield 5 points to Hull. 5 minutes left for play, and uh, well, I missed time myself there, I believe it's only 2 minutes left for play, and Hull still run up to take their positions on the halfway line. In fact, they're there before the ball arrives. Well, there'd be no time wasted about this second half, there'd been a lot of points scored, from 7-5 to 33 points to 5, obviously it in indicates the superiority of Wakefield, uh, but uh, I wouldn't write Hull's part in this match off completely as far as the general play is concerned. Wilkinson. The ball didn't go 10 yards, but the player came from the 10-yard mark and he should stay behind, so they've got to take the kick over again. Very good decision by referee Clay. Players must stop on the 10-yard mark till it arrives 
But if it doesn't, then it's a scrum. It does to Chamberlain. And away goes first. And away goes first, chased by Whiteley. A long one to Alan Skeen and well tackled Johnson. Wakefield on the attack. Wanted to get this final try for the completion. And eight. here comes the final try to scrum half. Keith Holliday goes near enough to behind the first for a Fox chance of a goal. Well, this is just about completed today, I'm sure, for um, Wakefield. And with these very good tries they've had as favourites, they've certainly justified their title of such. Uh, this is the largest score a uh, winning team has got at Wembley. It's 36 at the moment. 36-5 to 38. Yes, very easy, good goal. 38 points to 5. And what... And it's the time. Time has gone and Wakefield have won the Rugby League Cup by 38 points to hold five. And the players congratulate each other. And this is certainly the right moment to say congratulations to Hal. Neil Fox went chasing after the ball there. I wonder where or not he was going. But there he is coming in with his front of the officials. And in this sporting match, this very, very good second half of rugby league football, Wakefield, favourites for the Rugby League Cup, have justified their title. They've never played at home. They've not played one of their home games in a cup tie at home. They've been uh, away in all the rounds, neutral ground, semi-final, and of course here at Wembley. So they didn't come the easy way, they've come the hard way. But this is the moment that must make them say, well, it's been worth it. As Derek Turner waiting for the signal to go up to meet Her Majesty the Queen to get this magnificent rugby league trophy. Derek Turner, Rocky Turner, Keith Holliday who just got the try behind him. And this is the great, the proud moment for Wakefield Trinity players. Something that will live long, I'm sure, in their memory. Let's watch it. The Majesty of the Queen to Derek Turner, the successful captain of the show, who cut to the fans. Keith Holliday. He's lost his way, Derek. The first time this afternoon, he's lost it. Don Vines, Jerry Round, 